So when I'm out and about shopping and I see some type of sauce that I may want to try, you know, sometimes I'll buy one or two. Well, this time I actually end up buying two of these and I still have yet to try it out. This is Judge Casey's Famously Thick Ketchup. And I'm going to give this a try and see what the flavor is. But I think what I'm going to end up going with is some ranch. Never fails. Ranch is where it's at. Zesty ranch at that. So I got my dipping sauce. And we're going to go ahead and make a little something for breakfast this morning. I've already had my little lemon water. And we shall get something to eat this morning. I hope everyone is doing well. Good day, good day to all of you. All right, that definitely tastes different. It's more like a barbecue slash ketchup type sauce. It's different. It is thick. And it would be all right with some waffle fries with a little bit of ranch on the side. I don't know about this one. I, I'm going to have to keep tasting it and see what it tastes like on different. It might even be good on a hot dog or some type of um, sausage if that's what you're into. So it's okay. You know, like I said, when you cook and you make your own stuff, you can kind of, you know, season it up to fit your liking. But just right out the bottle, it's all right. It's something different, especially if you want something different. And it does have a little bit of curry. And it tastes like it got a little bit of barbecue or something sweet to it. With the ketchup. And uh, it kind of tastes like a ketchup barbecue sauce type dip. With a, stash, with a little splash of curry. Let's see what the back says. I'll put the lid on it. There we go. So it's an old ketchup crafted in the kitchen with, I can't really see that, sun-dried tomatoes, onions, what does it say, radish, let me zoom in a little bit, raisins, oh, there's the sweetness, okay, and spices, our home style ketchup is tangier, chunkier and has a bolder flavor it is a bold flavor oh you can marinate meats with it okay oh i can see this on some chicken uh flavor french fries yeah that's what i got it for brighten up burgers sauce up sausages and elevate some eggs and if you want to know more you visit judgecasey's.com for more Absolutely no funny stuff. Here's the verdict. All natural ingredients. Totally vegan. Gluten free. No adjectives or preservatives. And definitely no corn syrup. That's what I'm talking about. That's my kind of people. What else we have here? Made in California. That's where I'm from. A native. And I'm talking about a native of America. Okay. And then we got some ingredients, tomato, puree, water, tomato paste. I'm sure I'm not saying any of this right. Sugar. It did put some sugar in it. So some of y'all can't have it. Onion, distilled vinegar, raisins, sun-dried tomato, salt. And what is that? Vodavin, curry powder, spices, salt, turmeric. Onion, garlic, sugar, and natural smoke. Now, for me, I do better with regular sugar. So, this works for me. Those substitute sugars just irritate the hell out of my body. It does not work for me. It gives like an aftertaste. So, regular sugar from the cane works best for me. Then, you got spices, ground mustard seeds, and citric acid. Made in a facility that handles peanuts, tree nuts, milk, eggs, wheat, fish, and soybeans. So if you have an allergy, stay away, stay away. And once you open it, you got to refrigerate it and shake it well before you use it. And this is distributed by the Judge Casey, San Francisco, California, 94124, made in my place, California.
yeah got our nutritional facts on the back one tablespoon calories 35 see if we get any vitamins very low on that two percent four percent got a little bit of iron at least you get a little something in there so and then recycle the bottle once you're done the best known and most popular irish man on the pacific coast port coast of california leaving rural ireland in 1873 just to come make this for us jeremiah casey set out to make a new life in california having settled in the bustling town of port costa he opened the Ferry Exchange Hotel and Brewery and actually, oh, eventually became the Port Costa Judge. Mm, interesting. He was a man of many talents, admired and respected by all. Our famously thick ketchup is based on the old Casey home recipe, a tradition that Peter, is that Peter or Petter? Petter, the condiment connoisseur, of the family proudly continues to this day and there you have it so mr casey your stuff was on sale and that's why i bought two of them i wanted something a little bit different than what i ne normally stick my little french fries in so i appreciate what you got going here and that's it guys chat with you later so we're opening up this ranch get it all zesty and ready so we can use it this morning for our dipping sauce and this is by Hidden Valley which is just a known fave known favorite and what does it say on the back hundred and twenty calories per serving it was high as hell in sodium. I'm just kidding. It says 330 in sodium. And what you got? Potassium, iron, calcium, vitamin D, zero. And for the ingredients, vegetable oil. Say it ain't so. Soy bean. Well, we finna dip some fries in it. So all that on the back and we're about to dip some fries into it and it has onions sugar salt natural flavors spices egg all the stuff that probably would be a no for a lot of you but for me today this one time I will be dipping my fries in it it's Get like egg yolk vinegar well, one, two, three. Okay. And I think once I it's use it, I probably like will end up throwing well, it one, two, three. away because I've had it for a while. Lay down your chips it's and go like all in on the ranch. One, two, three. <sighs> we'll see. It's like elementary.